Okay guys, back to electricity circuit symbols for you today. You have the symbols in front of you there on the table. Now as I continue this lesson, I want you to think which one matches to which and then obviously I will reveal the answer for you. I'm also going to tell you what each bit does and you need to remember that for the quiz that you're going to get. So the first thing we've got here, hopefully you know what that is, it's a battery Yes, but for, for us, we're going to call it a cell. One single battery is a cell. And what is the circuit symbol for a cell? Yes, you've guessed it, it is that one there. Also, just the point that the larger line is the positive end. The larger line is the positive end. So, that's a cell. Now, two cells together form what we can now call a battery. So if you look around the symbols, you should be looking for two cells put together. Now it could be two, it could be three, it could be four, da 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 And that's symbolised by a dotted line. So that there is our battery. Now, I don't need to explain what a battery does, it provides us with energy for our circuit. Okay, so this little one here, it's hard to really see, and you're not going to come across it unless you do the GCSE, but this is a resistor. It slows down current. Resistance. To slow something down, to stop something. It's a resistor. What do you think that one is there? Hopefully you've got that. It actually looks pretty much the same. Basically, a box. Yeah? Okay, this one again you don't have to worry about until you do GCSC. This is a capacitor. Kind of looks like a battery there. It kind of is. A capacitor stores current or charge or energy. It's almost like a mini battery. Alright? What is a capacitor? Looks like a battery or a cell. There you go. Lovely job. So, moving over here. Let's move that there. You have, and I don't know if you can read that, and it doesn't, certainly doesn't look like the fuse in my car. I should have bought one from my car because it's a lot more um, obvious what it does. Now, inside a fuse you've got a wire, and that wire will melt and break if too much current runs through it. Reason why is because when it breaks, it will protect the circuit if there's too much current. A fuse protects a circuit. Now, like I said, it has a wire running through it, like that, and it also is, I guess, a resistor of sorts. So that's our symbol for a fuse. A fuse protects your circuit. Okay, moving on. A lamp or a bulb, you should know that by now. I'm not going to explain what that does, I'm just going to plonk the symbol there. Again, we have a wire with a crocodile clip at the end. You should know that a crocodile clip can be represented with an arrow there. Let's move that up. So we've done the front row, we now need to get to the back row. And I guess. Oh, oh, sorry, I found a switch. What does this switch do? It completes the circuit and it switches off the circuit. So that one is our switch. Hopefully you've got that. Now, back row. It's getting a bit more tricky. Hopefully you know what this one is in the middle. It's an ammeter measures current. Ammeter measures current. Do not forget that. And it's obvious. There you go. If you get that wrong, then I don't know how I can help you. Again, voltmeter, V. There it is there. Voltmeter measures voltage or potential difference. Got it? Last two. I think you've seen this before. Basically, a giant ammeter measures small amounts of current and it can go backwards and forwards like we see when we inserted the magnet into the coil. Now if you look on your symbols, there's a little dial there. 
Yeah, so that symbolizes that. It's a galvanometer. You might sometimes see a G in there. Last one, guys, and again, you won't see this until GCSE. This is a transformer. You might see some transformers up on the highway, actually, where the, well, you might call it a substation or a power station. This simply changes voltage. It increases voltage and it can decrease voltage, but that's higher level stuff. And that's what it looks like there. Okay, so have a good look at these, pause the video, and I'll give you a quiz at the end of this video.